In this video, we'll show you how to connect your page elements to a data set through data binding. To add a data set, go to Add, click Database, and select Data Set. You can move the data set icon anywhere on your page. It only appears when you're working in the editor. To connect and edit your data set, click Manage Data Set. Under Connect a Collection, all of your site's database collections appear. Choose a database collection. Under Dataset Name, a name automatically appears. You can change this to anything you like. Under Mode, you can choose between Read Only, which only lets visitors view data from your collection. Write Only, which allows users to add data to your collection, for example, through a form. Or Read and Write, which gives visitors the ability to view and add data to your collection. In this example, let's select Read Only, so visitors will only be able to view data from our collection. You can use Filter to present specific data from your collection. To set one up, click Add Filter. Choose a field from your collection. Next, let's define the condition and value of the filter. Only items from your collection that match this defined criteria will appear on the page. You can also use Sort to present data from your collection in a specific order. By default, your content is sorted from new to old. Now that you've set up your data set, choose an element on your page to connect to a field from your collection. For this example, let's connect a gallery to the data set. The images and text you see now are placeholders, which will be replaced with content from your collection when we preview and publish the site. Select your gallery and click the Connect Data icon here. Because there's only one data set on this page, in this example, the gallery will automatically connect to the country's data set. To present images from your collection in the gallery, go to Image Sources Connect To and choose the Image field. Under Title Connects To, in this example, connect the title to the country name field in your collection. Let's preview the page to make sure the content from your collection appears correctly. And click Publish. Your content is live on your site for visitors to view. Now it's your turn. This video is always here, so come back and watch again for more help. To learn more, explore the Wix Code Resources page. You'll find video tutorials, articles, example code, Wix code API references, and more.